Uh, it's very nice to be here. How are you? I'm very well. This is my third trip to Dhaka. Uh, my first to see uh, an international match involving England and Bangladesh, of course, and it's an exciting time for Bangladesh cricket. Well, uh, what is your opinion about the Bangladesh uh, cricket team's performance? Well, there's no doubt that they're moving forward. They're improving with every game. I've been surprised at the level of criticism that there's been of the team because you can't become a test-playing nation and expect to be successful overnight. It takes time. You need experience, you need confidence. And I think that Bangladesh have shown in the last few months, particularly on the tour to Pakistan, that they're capable of uh, competing with the best teams in the world. And who knows, there may be a first Bangladesh test victory tomorrow. I hope not, but uh, I'm sure I'm outnumbered. <laughs> Well, uh, what do you think uh, about the present cricket, uh, in, uh, cricket uh, infrastructure in our country? Uh, how can uh, it be uh, improved? Well, I'm a great believer in having an executive management structure. Um, yeah. Bangladesh Cricket Board has been very well served by many volunteers who've given their time in a non-executive capacity to help with the running of cricket. But cricket is a business now. And I think if cricket is to really move forward, you need a, a full-time chief executive, which they've now appointed, uh, and a management structure, which means that the non-executives, the board, can then take policy decisions, and that will be implemented. Also, I'm pleased that um, a, a format, a program of uh, domestic first-class cricket has been introduced, because I think I'm right in saying that until recently, all of the club cricket played in Bangladesh was uh, one-day cricket. And of course, if you're going to play five-day test cricket, you need to have experience of two innings cricket. So I think those two developments are very good. Uh, and I think it will not be too long before uh, Bangladesh enjoys success on the international field. We know that uh, English cricket team is a fully professional side. Do you find any professional attitude in Bangladesh team? <laughs> well, professional on one hand means that the players are paid. In our case, they're pretty well paid. Uh, but you can also demonstrate a professional approach, which means approaching your game uh, in a very thorough way, a very meticulous way. I've been very impressed by the, um, the teamwork um, and uh, the amount of uh, the way the players work for each other. Uh, and I think they've shown a very professional approach. I thought their bowling was extremely disciplined. They came back well after England made a good start. Uh, so they may not be professional in terms of earning the same salaries as the England players, but they certainly demonstrated a professional approach to the game, and I think that stands them in very good stead for the future. Body language and batting technique, also good? Yes, uh, very much so. I mean, I think this is a team without any outstanding stars. Uh, I think everybody works for each other, and everybody has contributed. And as I say, uh, in 24 hours' time, who knows, maybe Bangladesh will get their first victory. What do you think uh, about our uh, structural facility? Do you mean in terms of the ground or in terms of the infrastructure of the BCB? Because I think I've answered the second question. As far as the stadium and the facilities are concerned, I think they're excellent. Uh, the first time I came here in 1995, that's uh, eight years ago now, and I've noticed some marked improvements with the stadium. As I say, there are many good things. Uh, there are many building blocks in place now in Bangladesh. You've got the enthusiasm of the people, you've got the support of the commercial sector, you've got the support of government, uh, you've got the enthusiasm of the crowds, and a cricket structure which I think will serve the game well. And you've got a test class stadium which of course has been used for test cricket for 50 years now. Uh, recently Bangladesh Cricket Board has appointed CEO. Do you think uh, it will help in uh, promoting uh, cricket uh, in Bangladesh? Well, I think I've already partly answered that question. I know Maki Dudia. He sits on the same ICC development He's committee. He's from Zimbabwe. He is, yeah. uh, but Asian background. And I sit on the same ICC development committee as Maki. I've always had a very high regard for him. I think he's a very uh, able and very competent administrator. He's got a big task, uh, and he needs more support. I think uh, he needs more of an executive team around him. But I'm sure that given time, he will help uh, Bangladesh cricket to progress. Who is player of Bangladesh cricket team has uh, impressed you? Well, as I said before, I think what's impressed me is that they don't seem to be relying on any one individual. Everybody has chipped in. I did like the way Rafiq bowled, the slow left armour. I thought he looked a very good, steady, 
uh, bowler. He didn't bowl too many bad balls. And I think with the increased turn in the pitch on the last day, he could pose a number of problems for the English batsmen. Uh, Mr. Timland, uh, thank you very much. Pleasure. Supriyo Darsho, Kato Khun Kotha Bullam, English Cricket Boarder, CEO, Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Timland Eshate. Tini Ashabad Bakto Kullen, Bangladesh Air Cricketer, Bobishad Kubib Halo, Ebong Bangladesh Air Batting, Bowling, Ebong Fielding, Alpodir Bodhe, Ata Uchumaner. और जाए चले जावे अखुन कथा बोल बो बांग्लादेशीर क्रिकेटर उज्जल नौ कोत्रो एवं बांग्लादेशीर बांग्लादेश जातियों क्रिकेट दलेर शाबे को दिनाओ एवं जीवन तो किंग बादुंती एक कालेर तारों का बैट्समैन आमिनुल इस्लाम बुलबुलेर साथे आमिनुल इस्लाम बुलबुल बांग्लादेश टेलीविजन एर पोखो 